always a walk in the park. There are days when we feel like we can barely breathe, and then there are other days when we feel like we are on cloud nine. Sometimes we ask ourselves why life is filled with so many challenges, and then we realize that it's often those challenges that create and lead to positive change. I honestly love this burger. Like this is the type of thing that I love to do on a daily basis is just like choose things. Like because I like to eat healthy, I have to be a bit more creative. You know, it can be a day-to-day -day struggle sometimes trying to be creative with stuff and um, make your life exciting when you're making smart choices. But um, you know, once you get the hang of it, it's pretty good. So what about you, Steph? In regards to food and diet, um... A while ago, before I started transitioning, and like, I know this is totally unrelated, but it's not, because everything intersects and is related. I, because I was in like a darker place, I really didn't care, so I would just order, like I ordered so much pizza. And lately I've been trying to make a conscious decision to actually cook food instead of ordering it, yeah. which is a big difference for me, just because of how I lived for the past couple of years. Part of it is you always have to start paying attention to yourself, right? And I think mm -hmm. sometimes, like, as we get older, we get a bit more conditioned to that just because, like, our body's not quite as, like, you know, metabolism's not yeah. as quite as good as it was yeah. when we were, like, 15. In relation to knowing your body, since I've started with, like, hormone replacement therapy, I've been able to know my body better. It's like before I didn't, it's not even like I didn't want to. It's like there was a block. And I was like, right. you don't need to, it doesn't matter because yeah. this isn't it anyway, you know? Yeah, I can totally relate too because I feel like even as I was growing up, like something always felt a bit off, like I didn't really have like a full direction. Mm. When I finally figured out that like this is what I wanted to do, like be in social media, yeah. be myself, like live my life the way I do and like express that. And yeah. then also like everything else aligned as well. It's like, it's kind of like all your life you were an improv actor and then suddenly you have a director, right? It's right. like you right. know you, you can respond to what you feel is wrong. Okay, so now that we talked about choices, we're gonna talk about beauty choices. Okay. So I have a few products. I wanted to see what you thought your favorite one was, because I definitely have a couple of favorites, but let me know what you think you like. Um, my eye goes right to this one right away. What is this called? Cosmo Kitty. It looks like, you know, a really nice bright lavender. It's matte, I like that. It's very trendy. Yeah, I like however, that too. however, going into fall, right? So I'm gonna have to say this one is more appealing. What is this? Perry Panther, it's black. And I've seen pictures of this. It's like matte, matte, matte black, like yeah. super dark, right? Yeah, totally. Love that, love that. Cause in the fall, I like to look a bit like a witch. Even if it looks like I'm in a Halloween costume, like I'm okay with that. I just, I love this. And it can be so trendy too, right? I always love coming to places like this because this is like one of my favorite bakeries and of course I have these like really cute pink and purple macaroons which are so so cute which is why I have like cupcakes and bakery style stuff on my shoes. I think it just adds like a whole bunch of personality to me um, and the brand and uh, just kind of speaks to like my lifestyle right? I started with my brand as something like totally different. It was, I was from Final Fantasy. I wanted to look like, you know, like maybe like an anime character, something that was a little bit more than, like a little bit larger than life, right? Right, right. Um, and it didn't really stick. And what ended up happening was in one of my monthly favorites videos, I decided to incorporate bread as one of my favorite things. I, I've always loved bread, but like not to the degree where I do now, because it's like, right. it's become a symbol almost of like, love and stuff love and kindness and like appreciation like it's become a symbol for me but um one of my commenters one of my viewers said um oh we're the bread squad or something just because i ate, i ate the whole bag out on camera like it was just a funny thing and then it yeah. stuck yeah. they liked it and it stuck and i became the bread mom i've always had like this maternal feeling it's part of how i knew i needed to transition it's because i i wasn't comfortable with the I guess the male associated parenting words right. and like, yep. but the, the female ones always like felt so right to me. So Resonated. that's, yeah, yeah. So like part of wanting to be a mother and then having this maternal instinct, like I almost feel maternal towards my viewers. Really cool to see the two way street too, where like I influence people, I'm kind of like the maternal person sort of leading the way. But then I think that's so cool about social media is like you actually kind of find your niche, you find your way through what people give you as feedback, right? Like, whereas I feel like in the old days, like people had marketing campaigns out or they put something out that they thought like might or might not work and you didn't know what happened. You just kind of had to wait to see like which one of your trials worked out. Part of being successful in this business, I guess. Which is, it's odd for me to think of it as a business, but it is really, this is how we make our life, right? Um, 
is being able to respond to what your viewers want. And it's, it's like, you it is a two-way street, right? If you give them what they want and if you care for them and if you respond to them and if you make them feel good, they're gonna make you feel good. Changed into more of a community. And I love that, yeah. Because it helps people feel included, like they're part of something. Social media has truly given many of us a voice and an opportunity to share our stories with others and to truly create a community. I came here just over a year ago for my first, I guess you could say, women's haircut. Um, and I'm going to the same guy I've been going to for a whole year. And it's, it's like, in hindsight, how I felt after that first haircut, it wasn't a big change. Like, he just gave me bangs. Right. But it made me feel so good. It made me feel like I had control almost. Mm -hmm. I remember when I left, like I didn't even look very cute, but like I felt so powerful because I made that choice. And it's almost like he just knows what I want. We don't really, I mean, I'm sure he would prefer if I communicated verbally more, but his ideas just, they work. And, and they are aligned with what I want. And it makes me feel secure to have somebody that knows it kind of like how we were talking earlier about knowing yourself. Right. It's good to have somebody, if they're working on your, on your body, on your face, on your hair, it's good yeah. to know that they know you too. And so like you're taking a step to just come here and like a year ago you, you actually made that change and you took that step to kind of start getting your first women's haircut and now I think you've got something else that you've got going on yeah. and um, yeah, I would just love to hear more about it. Um, I started crowdfunding for my face surgery that I'm getting very soon in December. Uh, it's called FFS, Facial Feminization Surgery, and what they do is they basically reverse the effects of testosterone-based puberty right. on my face, mm -hmm. right? So they're going to shave down bones. It's, it's quite an invasive, crazy cosmetic procedure, but it's not cosmetic. So it, it's, it's like my number one thing that I know is going to make me so much more comfortable. Because where, as it is now, when I leave the house, I have to contour, I have to highlight, I have to do all this stuff to my face just so I feel like I won't be mistreated. And I know it's not necessarily true, but it's how I feel. And so having this done is a huge thing for me and I just cannot wait. People sometimes are like, oh, are you scared? Are you nervous? But I'm not. I'm so excited. So we had a really great day with Steph today. And, you know, as a woman, I've had my own challenges that I've had to overcome. Um, Steph has taken us through her journey as well. And I think what's really unique about both of us is we've been able to share and voice that through social media and really um, give a voice to all of these things that people go through and show others that you can take action and make a change in your life. It's just that it's up to you and we hope that we inspire you to do that.